What's going on guys? Welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Last time we made our way back here to Bowser's Kingdom and we collected a hefty number of power moons. Today we are going to be completing this kingdom once and for all so we can make our way to the moon and back once again. So before we begin, you already know the drill. Drop a like on this video and don't forget to answer the comment question of the day. Last time I asked you guys what smartphone do you rock every single day and here are some of the responses we got. Today's comment question of the day is is how often do you watch television for me I would have to say I hardly ever watch TV I use my TV on the daily but I hardly ever watch TV I mean maybe once a week or something when I'm like extra bored I'll turn Netflix on and watch something uh, cable on the other hand is never a thing that I will normally just go out of my way to watch I mean maybe if we have guests and the TV's turned on downstairs and I'll just be standing there and I'll look at the TV and I'll see something Thing that might grab my attention for like a couple of minutes but it's never more than that i'll never really go out of my way to watch tv i used to have like a like a, a, a not a, i guess not an obsession but i used to watch tv a lot like i really did i used to like do it every night and like watch movies on netflix every night and that has all changed i don't know why i mean i'm pretty sure it's because of the internet internet has killed television for most people so that is why i'm interested to see if you guys are also the same way if uh internet has really killed television for you or uh or if you still watch it every day so let me know if you watch how often it is do you watch tv and that also includes the time you spend to watch netflix and whatnot i cannot believe i screwed this up this is probably going to be one of the most tedious power moons that we can get in this episode which is why i'm doing it now um they i mean they had to like go all out with this 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 bird thing you know they want you to use to, to, like to play as many power moons in this kingdom with with this guy you know, that's why they made him specifically for this kingdom. It's pretty nice. I mean, it's not too shabby. I like it, but it is a little challenging. And it's not a bad challenging, obviously. You know, considering this is like the kingdom before the final kingdom in this game, you'd expect nothing less than a little bit of a challenge. You know what I mean? All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and... Okay, there you go. And let me just... Uh, oh, we did it! Okay. Oh, we did it. Dude, I spoke a little too soon. Oh! That's the problem. When you move the guy around, like when you try to adjust the beak on the wall by moving the joystick around, what ends up happening is he literally just flings and uh, it, it just doesn't work out, man. I wish there was like, they could have made it a little bit easier, but then again, I'm trying to think about how they could have done it where it wouldn't have overcomplicated the mechanics of this thing. Maybe it wouldn't have. Maybe this is the best way they could do it. I mean, I'm sure the developers of this game would know how to make the controls the best controls for all people of all ages, you know? Because this game is literally for kids and adults, obviously, but it's obviously a, a kid's game. Oh, gosh, dude. What the heck? See? Why is the... Okay, there you go. And... Oh! Okay, that's all I needed to do. Just adjust myself in the middle like that. Okay, I'm literally screwing this up. Look how many holes I've poked on this wall just to try to get up here. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay, just you die. Get out of there. Let me try to figure this out real quick. There you go. Okay, finally. This is all I needed to do. Like, that that was it, man. And I'm finally done with this. So, as you saw, it was probably a pretty tedious process to go through, obviously, for me at least. Maybe not for you, but... I definitely am not the most equipped player when it comes to using this thingamajig, but it doesn't really matter because we made it to the end, and I have to say this was one of the harder power moons in the episode that we were going to do, so I'm glad that I saved it. I guess I did it first. So there you go, two power moons on top of the spinning tower. Not too shabby. So now we can go ahead and make our way out of here. There's like so many in this just area alone that I don't even know where I would really want to begin, but... Moving on. Did I ever do this one? I don't think I've shown this off ever in an, uh, like an episode of mine. Um, I mean, maybe I've shown it off on how to get coins, but I've never actually shown off the power moons in this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quickly. So if you go ahead and throw this acorn. No, no, no. There you go. Luckily for me, it didn't actually fall. But if you go ahead and take this acorn and then you throw it inside of this, uh, you'll actually spawn a beanstalk, which will end up taking you really high up into the clouds to a whole nother part of this and I'm actually almost positive there's a couple power moons in this room 
Uh, and also, it's one of the best ways to get coins. So, I'm going to show off the method really quickly. I've shown... I don't... Oh, I remember this place. Does he say anything about coins? There's at least one more power moon here. I've done this before then, and I could see the power moon. But there it is. It's literally hidden all the way over there. All right. We just got to stop. Chill, chill, chill. Oh! Oh! What the heck, dude? Cappy, come on! What is your problem? I'm not gonna fail this time. I'm just gonna chill, 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 chill. There you go. There you go, Mario. See, how hard was that, buddy? It wasn't. It's pretty easy. Cappy just didn't want me to bounce on his head this time around. But I think that's pretty much it. We can go ahead and, I guess, complete the rest of this. Or I could just exit. But I think I'm gonna just, you know, if I could stand straight. I'll watch. That's gonna screw me up. See? I'm at a, like, I'm tilting. All because you have to be perfectly aligned with, like, the flower, like, straight. You gotta look north and nothing but north. And then you'll be able to, you know, pew, hit it and, uh, you know, get yourself all the coins in the path. Um, so, moving on. Where else can we go? But, yeah, this, like I said, is a nice place to get coins. This is actually how I ended up getting a lot of coins the first time around that I played this game and I was looking to buy power moons I did that like for 20 30 minutes and I ended up having like almost five six thousand coins which was pretty neat so um, definitely would recommend it to anybody who's looking for an easy way to get some coins all right I'm gonna just chill right here then I'm gonna woo fling myself this way there you go you need to stay away from me you crazy clown Look at that guy. He's coming after me just so he can hit me in the face with his beak. But you know what? I'm going to do it first. Ugh! There you go. Okay. Uh, where else can we go to? I guess we could go to beneath the keep. There's a couple of power moons as well located in this area. Um, and then there's a lot on the, like, on top of the keep itself, like the roof part, like over there. And that's because we haven't actually explored that area yet. But there's one power moon over there, and I'm going to show off real quickly how to get it. Um, actually, to be specific, you do need a Lakitu. Hey, look at that. It's Takatu. He's just chilling over there. Uh, but you need Lakitu for the reason uh, of just being able to travel. You know, Lakitu's our guy. He's going to take us all the way across to where we need to be. Because Mario, unfortunately, cannot jump or swim across this, uh, you know, lake of poison, magma, lava, whatever this is. Fruit Loop Puke, you know, that's what I'm going to call it. It's purple. I don't even know what this is, man. Why do they make poison purple? Like, I can just imagine the consistency and what it does to you on the insides. How, like, the, the pain it has, man. You know, sometimes when I'm brought, like, dude, stomach pain is the worst. I'm just saying. I, I, I could never really cope with stomach pain as a kid, but, you know. Even as an adult, you know, when you have really bad stomach pains, it sucks. And every time I think of that and drinking that, I can imagine just severe stomach pain, bro. It just looks like poison. That would just tear your insides. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. But anyways, I don't even know why I'm thinking that deep into this. It's literally freaking Mario, dude. There you go. Two power moons above the poison swamp. And then we got that one, which was chilling in there. So those were very easy power moons to obtain. Now we can go ahead and make our way back over here. Uh, we're actually going to take this all the way to the top of the keep now. Uh, we haven't done that, like I said, at all in this uh, LP. Um... I mean, since beating, obviously, the Brutal's up here, but there is going to be a Power Moon Raid tier on the nose of Bowser. Now, if you talk to, Tak to Takatu and you read this on the giant uh, Bowser statue's nose, that will instantly be given away to you, literally, because of the title of that. But it's, uh, it's, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Sometimes you need, like, those easy ones. Okay, what am I doing? I'm going to do... There you go. Just roll all the way up here. And then I need to long jump across over there oh my gosh there you go there you go you see that that is professionalism and unfortunately i didn't hit the flagpole up there so i guess i'll go back and hit it there's a flagpole on that area where we fought the brutals up there what would that area even be called man it's the keep i guess yeah because this is beneath the keep and this is the keep this is you know where uh the kings and queens uh abide you know they, they just chill in here you know, because they're obviously the uh, the kings and queens, so they get like the full view of the entire kingdom. That's just that's just how it is, man. Have you ever visited royalty? All right, I need to kill this thing. This thing is literally so fast. It's uh, kind of unfortunate because he literally travels so far and wide, 
it's kind of hard to catch him. But the only way I would say to be able to slow him down is by actually hitting him with Cappy. There you go. And uh, th there's two of them, so they try to throw you off by making you think, oh, there's one Power Moon here, one there. Well, there's only one of them has the Power Moons, and it's the one on the right. As you face them, the one on the right will consist of the Power Moon. He will be the one holding it. All right, so what else do we got here? We have a couple of Power Moons. First and foremost, if we head this way where the birds are chilling, you'll actually feel the, uh, the, the, the HD rumble here. Go ahead and ground pound where the spot is sweetest. So where would that be for me at least? Okay, where is it? Where is it? Right here? Is that it? Nope, that's not it. It's right here. Yeah, there it is. See, that's how you get it. It's literally just on this gravel. A rumble under the arena floor. Uh, did I get the flagpole there? I did get the flagpole. Okay, so now I can travel here whenever I want, which is pretty dope. Um, there's also another power moon. It's a timer challenge one. And uh, this one's actually pretty easy to do. You just have to be quick. Um, but you could easily do it if you- Oh, gosh! Oh! How did I- How did I fill that, dude? That sucks! Of course, I would be the one to fill it, but... Let's try that again. Just, you know, a little bit of rustiness. Oh, my gosh, dude. Of course, I'm gonna fill this again, aren't I? Yep, of course. You have to be, like, swift. Oh! Bro! That really sucks! Third time's the charm, man. That's just how it's gonna be, huh? You know, do it three times. That's what that's that's what I felt like the first power moon was. It's like three times before I finally got it done. All right, let's climb this way, this way. Oh! Oh, we did it! Third time is really the charm. Bowser's Kingdom timer challenge number one, and I think I've already done the rest, so I don't have to work on getting those. But another one of these dancing flags. Look at that, dude! All having a grand old, old time. That'd actually get kind of annoying. You just heard music everywhere you went, you know? Like, that's just the white noise. Literally, it's just this. But, I mean, I could turn it off if I really wanted to, but that would defeat the person. It's good music for the kingdom, for sure. It fits it very well. Oh, this thing. I remember this one. All right, so this one's pretty fun. So, you got to take these guys, these statues, and you have to place them on these P-blocks. So, um... I guess I'm gonna I'm, I'm trying to align him perfectly. You don't need to do that I'm literally just going extra doing the extra thing So now you're gonna take this second guy and you're gonna take him downstairs all the way with you I'm gonna try to see if I can get both of these power moons on the first run now You don't have to worry about that glowing thing down there. It's not a power moon It's actually just a couple of yellow goombas doing their own thing um, And by that I mean they're just you know Hiding on the ground because apparently that's what yellow goombas enjoy doing for some reason So you want to take this guy and you want to bring him all the way over here Um, and then get out of him And then long jump across possess this final guy and then take him all the way to the third platform Now there's four different P switches if you couldn't already guess Uh, you could only see three I guess you wouldn't be able to guess it unless I you know I showed off the back part of the uh, of this room of this area, but I didn't so you wouldn't actually know that but anyways what you want to do first and foremost is you want to take uh, These guys over so we're gonna go ahead and take this guy all the way across and uh, We could actually do this I think on one go so we're gonna take this guy put him right there and then we're gonna take this guy right here and then we're also gonna put him on the other piece which and watch what happens too when you do that um You'll see. Oh, wow, you can't. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have no choice but to do the cappy long jump across. But I'm gonna do this so I don't have to do it twice. So you're gonna take this last guy and you're gonna put him on that P switch over there. And that's supposed to be able to get you all two power moons in this room. So I think we could definitely do this. There you go. Open it up. Hey, it looks pretty nice, I must say. All right, let's get out of here. Um. Let's now long jump across. Copy jump, there you go. And then long jump, copy jump. See, I guess without these platforms, I still would have been able to make it. That's pretty dope. All right, let's go ahead. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, that was a total fail. I didn't even know Mario would fit under that. Like, he'd be able to walk underneath it. That's just pretty crazy, man. Let's go and grab this one, power moon number one. And then the second one, which is literally. Oh! Oh my goodness, dude. Of course that would happen to me, dude. Of 
course I would let that happen, huh? All right, there you go. The second power moon, not bad. Um, one thing I also forgot that I wanted to do, but I totally forgot to do it at the beginning of the episode was change my outfit. Usually I wait till I have all the purple coins to buy the proper outfit, but I think I'm gonna just go ahead and do that now. Uh, you know, for the sake of just wearing it and showing it off for the remaining uh, episode. Because, you know, why the heck not? So, this is, it's called, uh, it's, it's this. It's literally like a, a taekwondo, karate, kung fu looking outfit. It's called a happy outfit. Traditional clothing designed to be easy to move around in a festival. Is that really what it's made for? I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to change now. Oh, man. Is there any way I could change in the shop? I clicked B. I don't know why, but I guess I'm wearing the hat, so. I do look pretty cool, I must say. I'm gonna go back, though, to change, so. I'm gonna change, and I'll meet you guys back here. Alright, guys, we are back, and uh, on top of this roof, there's actually going to be a couple of coins that we're going to need to grab. So, let's go ahead and pick these up real quick. So, we have exactly 13 before we are done with this Kingdom 100%. That is pretty exciting. Oh, look at that. There's even coins hidden behind there. Who would have guessed? That's pretty nice. And there's even coins hidden up there as well. Okay, that is... That is just fan diddly tastic, I must say. Let's go ahead and pick these up real quick. You know, this is uh, this is working out pretty nicely for me. I'm out here collecting power moons, and now I'm collecting coins. It's just, you know, I'm not really sure what I want to do in life. Hey, look at that! There's another power moon right there. What? I didn't even see this thing at all from the side above the castle gate. Okay, well, I literally would have never seen that if I didn't go looking for it. Well, I mean, if I didn't come across this area, so I'm glad, you know, I made my way over this way. Uh, so, as you can see, those are uh, coins over there. I'm assuming the way to get them is by following the path this way. I mean, the way I've done them on my other file was I went all the way around, but I feel like, yeah, that's definitely a lot dumber to do when you could literally get them like this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, there you go. Oh, there you go. If I died, it doesn't even matter because, you know, at least I at least I got what I needed to get from here. And those are the coins. All right, let's go ahead and climb all the way up and chill. All right, let's see. How many more do we need? We have 53 out of 62. Uh, let me think. What else was there? There was an island just somewhere. That's the island over there. But the question is, how do I get to it? I think I need to end up here at the main courtyard entrance so there's a floating island somewhere and uh, on that island there's those things that carry giant rocks above their heads and smash you with them so you know you just got to be careful uh if i actually if i travel from that point i wonder if it will take me to it i'm pretty sure it will i think that's what it is you gotta travel on that just to reach there. All right, let's try this. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, that's definitely it, dude. Who would have guessed that that's how you get to this far off island floating in the sky? Could you imagine if a place like this existed where everything just floated in the sky? That would have, that, that'd be insane to like see in person. Um, all right, go ahead and break that. You know, I, I guess the closest thing we would have is if someone lived on like a mountain almost, but oh gosh. Wait, what? What? Okay, come back here. Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Alright, yeah, my problem was I had to backflip onto him, so it took a little while to, to, or for the transition to go through, but here we go. Go ahead and bust it down, and jump up, jump up, and boom, shakalaka. Kill them both. All three of them, I mean. Not both, there's, there's three of them. I can do math, you know. One, two, three, that's it. All right, go ahead and pick up the power moon for this. Exterminate the ogres, that's what it's called. Okay, what else can I do? Uh, number 14. I actually don't think I remember that one off the top of my head. But let me see, what else was there? Oh yeah, I think I know of a couple ones that I could do real quick. For example, that chimney over there. Is that chimney one of the power moons that I could do? I'm pretty sure that is. I don't think I've done that one yet. Yeah, I don't think I have. Because this place is a far off random place for me, I must say. Oh yeah, and see this? There's, there's a power moon in this thing as well. The thing is, you're gonna have to work for it though. So let's go ahead and just get that one done and out of the way with. 
Uh, so the way to do this Oh, no, no, no I literally killed him by falling into the water No Oh my gosh That sucks I killed both of my guys Alright, there you go they're, they're coming back, finally Give me your body Let me my, my, Let my soul possess your body Alright Woohoo Oh, hit him in the face There you go, pretty nice Alright, so now Let's go climb up this way So if you climb up this way Hit that guy, continue the climb, the journey all the way up. You're going to be greeted by these things, but it's fine. I guess we can kill these guys. We don't necessarily need to, you know. All right. Actually, let me stand right here and then see what happens if I hit it like that. There you go. All right, there you go. All right, let me... Oh, what? I guess I have to hit it from, like, like an angle, sort of. There you go. Just like that, actually. So let me... There you go. Oh my gosh. Bro. Okay, so this is literally how it's done. You have to just do it at an angle, though. Eventually, one of these balls will reach it. Oh my goodness. Okay. No, 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 no. There you go. Come on. Oh my goodness. Finally. Oh my gosh, dude. So... Fun fact, the first time I did this, it literally took me a couple of tries and I was able to do it successfully. So I was under the impression that it was going to be an easy, you know, uh, power moon to get the second time around. But that was definitely far from the truth. It was, it was tedious, man. It wasn't as bad as some other ones that we've done in this kingdom, but still it was pretty tedious. I even ended up dying once, man. It just shows that it was a pretty difficult one to get. So, uh, now we can make our way all the way across the rooftops over to that edge over there. So, if you remember in the last episode, we climbed the, uh, this part of the roof over on this end over here. And there was a chimney. And parallel to that chimney, there's also another chimney. So, we're just gonna go ahead and chase down the chimney. And I actually do not recall exactly what power moon was in that, but it can't be that hard if I don't remember it, because usually the ones that uh, stand out in my head are the harder ones, but this one I don't think is going to be one of them harder ones. But let's go ahead and find out. Let's see exactly what this one was. Oh, it's this one! Yo, this one was really fun. This is super easy. Okay, so essentially all you really need to do is just let this guy fall. Let him fall and die. Just kidding. Don't actually do that. Don't kill the dry bones. Like, for real. I'm telling you now. Don't kill him. Because it's not going to gain anything by, 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 by dying, you know? Or you're not going to gain anything by killing it. So, there's a key down there. That's how you get power moon number two. Now, the rest of these literally require you just to go through and find all of uh, these little things. And they're pretty easy to find. Literally, just, you know, go through every single area and look for them. Um, like this area, for example, definitely has something. Look at that. It's just a, you know, a moon shard chilling right there. Now, if you do get hit by one of the falling rocks, it's fine. You just take some damage. Uh, it doesn't actually, like, you know, just, like, kill the dry bones or whatever. But still, like, try to avoid or refrain from being smacked in the face head on by one of these dry bones. All right, is there a power moon in this thing? Nope, the last one is over here. Oh, my gosh. And we did it. So that was a pretty easy room. Two easy power moons to get. Um, so that means we got three. So I'm going to just wait before looking at the guide. I want to make sure that I don't recall where any of the other power moons are. Before, you know, I cave and look at the guide. Um, Alright, let's go and grab this one. Very nice. Center of the hexagon tower, dude. That's what it's called. It obviously is a hexagon tower. In a glass room. A hexagon glass room. A tower in a glass room. That's kind of weird. Um, all right, let's see. 57 out of 62. Uh, do I have any more moon rock ones? I have one more moon rock one. And that is up there? Huh? Over there? I don't recall what that could possibly be. But let's go check it out. I mean, what's the harm? I'm trying to think. What could it possibly be? Because it says it's over here, right? Oh, wait, hold on. Never mind. That's not what it is. Oh, hold on. I think I know what it is. Yeah, there it is. I see it. It's literally that f glowing thing on that horn. One of Bowser's horns, dude. See, I knew there was going to be one of them like that here because there's so many horns in this kingdom that it's, uh, it's kind of hard not to assume they wouldn't put one in them. 
So, there's another power moon. We got one. Look how cool Cap he looks just as like the little band. He's not like completely filled in like a cap or anything like that. Okay, so I guess it's time for me to look at the other power moons because I just I'm not gonna figure them out off the top of my head. So I'm just gonna look for them and uh, I will see you guys once I'm at the next power moon. Okay, I just figured out where two of them are. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show off one of them real quick. Look at how fun this is when you literally jump off the keep all the way down to the bottom of this. That is so much fun. Look at that, dude. This reminds me of when I uh, raced against the Koopas because you have to race them all the way from the top of the keep um, to the bottom. So it's pretty nice. So there's going to be a power moon located down here. Um, all you need to do is just bait this ogre thing into coming over. Oh, come on, dude. I had to get stunned for a second. I should have waited. That's what I should have done. All right, come bring him, bait him over here, bait him over here. There you go. No, come this way. Come this way. There you go. There you go. And now let him smash. Hey, no, smash it. There you go. Oh, he did it. He broke the box, which revealed the power moon. So that's another easy one inside a block in the castle. Now, there's also another easy one, which is located right around this corner. Actually, no, it's not around this corner because this is where Captain Toad's located at. I guess we could just do it from beneath the keep. Maybe I'll be good enough to be able to land in the room. I should have just done this yesterday when I walked past the room, but I just wasn't thinking of it. I was thinking maybe it was going to be like a, a moon rock power moon where it consisted of a couple of different power moons that you could do, but definitely was not the case. So pretty much what I need to do here is I need to I need to fall down like this and then oh we did it wow I was gonna say if I failed I was gonna try again but it's literally just a room filled with Bowser's treasure it's not much I mean considering how lavish and rich Bowser is but it's still it's still a pretty decent room I mean I'm sure the room is worth more than anything that could be put into the room because it's like all gold so Bowser definitely has a love for gold anyways with that we have uh, two more power moons one of which is out of this kingdom and then the last one is somewhere in this kingdom so I'm gonna go ahead and find it and I'll meet you guys once I found it okay so the second power moon <clears throat> Okay, guys, so the last power moon is actually one that I completely forgot about, but it's uh, it's not that hard to get. It's actually a pretty easy one to do. So all you need to do is take one of these guys and literally just break uh, one of these crates with them. Oh my gosh, there you go. Break the crates and then work your way inside where you'll be able to pick up the power moon nice and easily like that so with that we've collected all the power moons in this kingdom there's only one left which we'll be collecting literally at the end of the episode but for now we have something that we need to do and that is go through and find the remaining purple coins in this kingdom before we are completely done with this and let's see if i could do it before the low battery thing uh you know fully kicks in and kills my battery because that would really suck all right i'm gonna just go this way looks like the coins are over there so i'm gonna go ahead and meet you guys there pick them up and i'll see you guys at the next set of purple coins all right here it is three purple coins so now there's literally only three more wherever this bowser amiibo takes me that's where the last three purple coins are going to be because they're always in sets of three and it looks like it's going to be somewhere up there Okay, well, I don't necessarily know how far or how high up I need to go, but I'm going to just go up beneath the keep and I'm going to see if it's in this area. If not, then I'm going to just climb even higher because it'll have to be all the way up on top. Yeah, I was actually kind of hoping it would be up there, to be honest, and I think I know exactly what spot they're talking about. If you just scale this thing all the way up to the top, boom, bada, bing, you'll literally see... Yep, the coins, oh my gosh, over this way. How did I miss these things, dude? But I guess it is what it is. So with that, we are done with Bowser's Kingdom, my friends. I mean, that was a pretty fun kingdom to play through. And the first time around when I played this game, I really thought like some of these power moons were going to be like super hard to get because of the nature of Super Mario Galaxy 2. It kind of gives you that illusion, that deception that you're going to, you know, spend a lot of time on you know one or two specific moons or whatever like you did in other mario games but so far i haven't had that problem i mean except with the jump rope one and 
you know, the volleyball challenge, but still, that th I feel like those are just tedious ones. Like, you don't necessarily have to be good at doing those to do them. So, anyways, the part I've been waiting for, and that is placing the power moons all back in the Odyssey. Look at that, dude, filling it up. I think we had, like, almost 50 power moons just between the beginning of this kingdom and now the collection so we're gonna head off to another kingdom and that my friends is in fact the sand kingdom i interacted with the uh the what's it called the art or whatever um in the last episode so i don't have to do it anymore but all you need to do is make your way to the sand kingdom and uh just go to the mo island area and you'll find the cactus which was the same cactus in the picture so once you're in the Sand Kingdom, warp to this checkpoint right here, which is the Mo'ai Habitat. And then you're just going to literally walk around the island. And you're looking for a cactus that has, uh, that has shrubs behind it. And then the background of that cactus also looks like there's like a top hat or something uh, in the distance. So I think it's, yeah, it's this one right here because it kind of has like that top hat look. You got the shrubs hidden behind it. Go ahead and ground pound uh, the area and boom, bala, bing, you got yourself the power moon. So found with Bowser's, with Bowser's kingdom art. So as you can see, we are literally done with the Bowser Kingdom 100%. So thank you all so much for watching. Next time we are going to be playing through the Moon Kingdom and then after that the Dark Side and then back to the Mushroom Kingdom. So thank you all so much for watching once again and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.